Hello traders, this is Gezo Kolo from Profit Scenario. With this short tutorial, I'd like to introduce you the new features of the upgraded versions of both MT4 Intraday and Scalp Trade Manager scripts. Despite we introduced this feature in the previous versions, you keep asking me how to get colored buttons and how to change the compact layout. So let's get through it together again. I disable Expert Advisors first, right click, Expert Advisors, Properties, go to Input tabs. What we are looking for here is the default button style. This is default, so if you want the color buttons, you have to change it to false. Right to. Next one is the info panel view. If it's true, you can see the info panel. To hide it, you need to flip it to false. And we don't forget to enable expert advisors again. Right, I have to wait until the next tip comes. And there you are. It's beautiful, isn't it? Lots of room around, colorful buttons, what else you need? Okay ladies and gentlemen, let's do buy stop and sell stop order first. You only can place stop orders if the price is between the lines, as you know. Buy at the upper line, stop loss at the lower line. Profit target calculated and placed according to the settings of the risk reward ratio, which is happened to be 1 to 2 as a default. Of course the logic is the same with sell stop order, just in the opposite direction. I delete them for now. Next one is the sell limit order. You only can place sell limit order if the price is below both upper and lower lines. I press sell limit. It's going to sell at the lower line and place a stop loss order at the upper line. Profit target again calculated according to the settings risk or ratio 1 to 2 in this case. I move the lines below so you only can place buy limit orders if the price is above both lines. In this case it's going to buy at the upper line, place the stop loss level at the lower line, profit target distance again is double. Ok let's make it simple. I simply buy it at the market price now. As you see that the stop loss is at the lower line, profit target at double distance. So how do I move them? It's easy. If you place your cursor above the line, the message box comes out saying draft to modify. Now this is what I don't need. This one comes from the MetaTrader 4 settings. Instead of this, I gently pull my cursor below the line within 10 pixels. That is the key, not on the line, ok? Below the line, slightly. Double click to activate it and you can drag and drop it wherever you want. Same story with the stop loss level, a bit below the line. Double click so I can drag the lower line further. Again, not on the line. I don't need this drag to modify thing. I gently move below until that message box disappears. Then double click and I can modify it to the level required. Ok my friends, once again on the line, message box comes. That's not good, I don't want this. I move it a bit lower, it disappears. That's when I click and drag it. Look, you asked for it and recorded it because you wanted it, but I have to tell the truth, I'm not using this. Why? It's so simple. I determined that I set my stop loss level way before I buy or sell anything and I don't want to modify it afterwards. Why should I? Exactly the same story with the profit target. My strategy dictates the optimal risk reward ratio I should target and I don't mess with it. I preset it, I enter in the trade and I just leave it. Anyway, you do it on your way, ok? Make sure you download the latest versions from the website. Thank you for watching. 
stay tuned with www.mt4trademanager.com today.